So this is what you'll use a majority of the time, the Align Dimension tool. What you can see in the Options tab is that you can pick different options. So at the moment, you can see that it's set for wall faces and pick individual references. What this means is that as we pick different walls, we can pick individual references, say the inside faces, and we can measure between them. What if we change this to pick entire walls? What we can do now is select an entire wall and it's gonna give us a dimension of that entire length, the wall face. If I select this one, it's gonna give us a length of that entire wall face and so forth. What happens if we make this wall center lines? Then it's gonna measure it from the center lines of these walls and you can see that there. Now, another cool thing about this is if you click on the options button here, you can also include openings and you can also choose grids or intersecting walls, but we'll just turn on openings at the moment. It will get the widths of each opening. So if we press that and we select this wall, it's gonna give us a dimension of that first bit of the wall and then the opening and then this second bit of wall. So it's a quick way to dimension between all of these different things. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of those dimensions we've made already because we don't need any of them. It's just good to know that you've got all of these different options for selecting dimensions. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.